Hi guys, Bobby B. A. Reader is our last beer of the day. Belgian beers. Belgian strong beers. Extra beers. Extra this, extra that. Extra read all about it. Here's one <coughs> from the Rochefort Brewing Company. I've never seen before. Look at these bags on my goddamn eyes. Get old, fat, and tired. Rochefort. Triple extra Belgian ale. 11.2 alcohol, uh, 11.2 I wish, 11.2 size of the beer, let's see, Trappist, and uh, this is from 2020, the only reason I can tell that is because it says, uh, right here, uh, 1920 to 2020, so this might be a 100 anniversary kind of a beer that they brewed specifically for someone, I'm not sure, but this is 8.1, yeah, not too shabby, but not, not where I want it to be. Of course, product of Belgium. Let's see if it explodes everywhere. It might. It did not. Full disclosure, this beer is colder than I wish it would be. Okay, there's a lot of chunks coming out here, so we're just gonna, we're gonna chunk it up because it's coming, so you might as well try to get it as much as uh, the way you want it. This is a beer that's been in my refrigerator. Because in Pennsylvania, because my AC isn't working in the downstairs, it's been 95 degrees like for two weeks now, and it's not raining. Which is the weirdest thing is because it's humid as fuck. It, I mean, it, it just feels and smells and everything like it's going to rain any second. And it just isn't. And that is the weirdest fucking thing. So, yeah. It is going to, when it does rain though, it's going to rain like a bitch. That is undisputed. I mean, if anyone says that it's not, they're stupid. Because I can tell, you've seen it enough, year after year after year. When it finally kicks in, it's going to kick in in overdrive. But watch this. If you want to see cold, cold, wet beer. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Not many beers on BA Brutus ever does that. But I had this in the uh, fridge. And then I took it out when I got home. Because I knew I was going to review it. So, just, uh. I didn't. I've never had this beer before, so I didn't know exactly what to expect from it. So I wanted to make sure I chilled it down. And luckily, no crazy cray. But I can just. Probably. Yeah, that, that one. That, and then... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Brown bottle in it. <laughs> so there it is. There's, uh... Not really anything to talk about. There's the, the back of it. There's not really too much to say. Uh, we're going to throw that right there. Come to the Sabbath. Da -na 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 -na. There it is. Look at that. It's not a St. Fionn beer. It is a Rochefort beer with a beautiful haze. Look at that. It almost looks like a... Uh, I'm not comparing the two, and I'm not saying one looks like the other one, and one looks like the other one, this and that, but like, it's hazy IPA almost, you know, I mean, that kind of beautiful orange tonality in this one, an extra, or a triple extra, 8.1, I don't know, let's go. I'll tell you what, very simi similar, it's very, very floral, very, very sharp, Nettles, floral tonality, earthy pepperiness. White bread crust. You have a little bit of that almost like um, honey dipped uh, uh, toast. Little crackeriness, brightness. Wheat tonality, grassiness coming out. Cheers.
That's smooth as silk. That is smooth as silk. Brightiness wafting through here. A little bit of a lemon wafting through. Lemon, which fruit compounds I was really lacking from the other ones. This has a lemon wafting through it. Brightiness. You have that kind of floral tonality. Again, we've talked about those kind of hedgerow weeds walking through the paths, that kind of thing. Nice pepperiness walking through. Mm. Nice. I got my chair from my grandma's house. It sits higher. So now if I have a chair here, I can kind of like hunker up. Hunker up. Nice and relaxed. Mm, take a nap. Come to the Sabbath. Come, come to the Sabbath. Come by the ruined way. With these beers, though, you do you burp up all those floral tonalities. Like, boof, there it is. All the weeds, all the floral, the stinging nettle, all that it does come back in spades. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nice beers, though. Very nice. At some point in time, I hope to brew something like this. Very uh, traditional style, Belgian, maybe even... I was thinking about doing one of those kind of like half and half beers where you're using a lot of, uh, <clears throat> you go to the stores and you go to the, like the organic sections, not organic or whatever, but the bakeries, and you'll find a lot of organic breads that are, you know, no one wanted them because obviously they're high priced or whatever, and then you can buy a whole loaf of multi-grain ancient oat, blah, 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 ancient grains, and they're all like 99 cents, buy a bunch of those, throw that in the mash ton add this add crystal malt add this add the carapils or whatever to top it up and then brew a nice uh nice tripel or nice something like that off that would be nice we'll put some candied sugar in that if you want to want it go crazy or just some nice uh belgian-esque uh, hops uh, throw something in that out of there maybe uh you know top it up with some honey things like that see what see what you can make out of it but that'd be fun I, I like the idea of, uh, of using something that's already pre-used that you know you can get for cheap to kind of make something else out of something to extend extend your grain bill by using breads and stuff like that that no one wanted. There's also a nice uh, pudding that you can make. It's called white. Was it was it called white? Oh, was it white cap? Something like that. You can actually make a nice uh, uh, with milk and butter and stale bread. You can make that. And it comes to a nice little dessert too. So I mean, there's a lot of things you can make that we've been trying to. I've been trying to. Use, you can use bread, butter, and cheese with it in a, in, a, in a boil with water. Add that all together, make a really nice uh, cheese soup, especially if you throw some broccoli in there. So it's it's pretty interesting, kind of finding all these different things. I just made um, glazed carrots for the first time. They came out really well. Uh, took a rutabaga and uh, rutabaga. And uh, I chopped that up too, boiled it up with some potatoes, and made nice uh, mashed potatoes out of them too. And I fried them up earlier, like fried potatoes that went pretty well with another meal too. So, getting into a little bit more things like that. I kind of... No, a whole... If I could do a whole year without eating pizza or anything like that from a, a shop, I bet you I could half this. Oh yeah. Hit my face. But I have been doing a lot of cool uh, fishing and stuff like that, pulling some trout out of the stream, cooking the trout up. So, and uh, my girl, she uh, she really enjoyed the, the trout that I cooked for. Her, so, if I could do more of that, that'd be great. Anyway, back to the beer. The haze is beautiful. Nice brightness, nice body, a little pillowiness, a little bit of uh, the pillowiness and the oiliness is kind of coming together. Giving it on the medium side of a medium mouthfeel, which is nice. And it also gives a little bit of a haze, so it's not abrasive. No ethanol alcohol is coming up. The, the, the flavors that are there are cohesive. They're not bombastic. They're just there. They blend well together. Earthiness, weediness, that kind of floral tonality. Um, 
and brightness and yeah it's just a simple easy drinking beer 8.1 uh, alcohol by volume would go with lots of meals which a nice trip out and stuff has now the triple extra i don't know if that's uh their style of a bitter or something like that you know, I've, I've had that triple xb bitter from the rank and stuff like that that's a little bit uh too much for me when i had it last time so i'd like to try to probably again see what that would be like um uh, but overall uh three belgian beers today and they're pretty good they're they're pretty good <laughs> so that i did an eight five um or eight eight five and then this one i think it's not bombastic it's not really blowing my doors off i think rochefort makes a lot of nice nice quality beers this is a nice quality beer. I think I'm gonna uh, go probably in the uh, um, the range of the San on Seven. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I think it deserves that at least. Um, it's very enjoyable, easy drinking, and it would pair with many many different different dishes and stuff like that. So that's nice. I'm just gonna enjoy this, and it's pizza time. So I'll be doing that. Thank you very much. Uh, this is both favorite. Cheers. Bye-bye. That's a beer. Woo!